Hello and welcome everybody to our show. Today we have a guest who is a Guinness Book World Record holder for scaling the tallest peaks in all seven continents in the shortest time of 172 days in the year 2006. His other international world records are he's the fastest seven summiter in the world, only person in the world to do seven summits on seven days of the week and one in each calendar month. First South Asian to accomplish seven summits. Fastest seven summit in the world. Now those are only his international records. His Indian records are he's the first Indian to accomplish seven summits. First Indian to summit Mount Winson Massive, that is the tallest peak of Antarctica. First Indian to summit Mount Carson Pyramid, that is the tallest peak of Oceania. He has climbed Kilimanjaro eight times, Elbrus twice and he has so far been the only Indian to do those things. Please put your hands together for our guest today evening, Malimastan. Thank you, Ashwin. <laughs> welcome sir, welcome to our show. You had your corporate stage perfected. What made you choose such an unconventional path? I think with the educational qualifications I had, it appears as though venturing into mountaineering feat as very different from what I'll, I had been equipping myself with in the life. But to me, it appears as an extension of all that I have been equipping myself with. Because after management education, I ventured into mountaineering, so I had to imbibe the learnings of mountaineering with that of personality development and leadership training programs. So with that entrepreneurial idea, I ventured into mountaineering thing because I come with both the qualities or the I come with both the excellences of best of both sides. Best of both sides. So mm -hmm. I but looking back from where I started and where I am now, I have no regrets and I think I'm progressing and there's a perfect direction in this year. Mm -hmm. So you measure your life in terms of moments and not round table conferences. Yes. <laughs> Okay, what was your parents' reaction when they heard about this unconventional path you're choosing? Yeah. As uh, any of the conservative families of India, they also wanted me to be one of the person having a good corporate job with this kind of education and having a very safe life within the corporate walls. And uh, it's very unconventional to choose this kind of life having from this side and uh, my parents coming from very uh, agricultural background and from a smaller village, it was tough for them to accept my life. In so with that conviction, I'm going ahead, even though uh, my, it's tough for my parents. But I do have their blessings, definitely. So a simple boy from an agricultural background to IIT, to IIM, to Guinness Book of World Record, and so much more further. You are such a big inspiration, but who inspired you? To me, when I was growing up uh, as a student of Sainik School in Kolkata, that's when I uh, learned about Mount Everest for the first time because one of our school seniors attempted Mount Everest as part of Indian Army expedition and that was in 1985. And all the six officers unfortunately got stuck in a storm and they expired and uh, in our school his statue was inaugurated. Uh, um, so I was inspired by that uh, person's life of attempting Mount Everest, but I was too young to conceive it as a dream and carry it forward. My journey began with that, uh, but later my inspiration has become the nature itself, the mountains itself, the valleys, they have become my inspiration to pursue the